for me, FAST has been the culmination of many years of, of preparation and now many years of actual delivery. And we aim to bring a new way of thinking about recorded music product to the recorded music industry. The structure of the project has enabled us to do entirely new things, to think creatively, to work together in new ways that we probably didn't predict at the beginning of the project. We've got 20 demos here, all of them really fascinating, but if they come together, well, how can that really support the idea that FAST is going to change the way that music is made, searched, consumed and experienced in the future? For research in audio and music technology, we are in a golden age. We are continually finding not just new solutions to today's problems, but new ways of creation and new ways of listening. So suddenly, I think, I hope, that the world is opened up again and it's a much more creative space for everyone to contribute to music in, in all sorts of different ways. It's just the, the technologies from FAST are letting us do that in a more explicit way. There's something fundamentally human about music and about creativity and, and in a world where we could spend all our time thinking about technology, it's a way of reminding ourselves that this is actually about human beings and it's about society. When industry takes an interest in what you or your students and researchers have been looking at, that's also a great thing, it gives you a big buzz. Uh, this is absolutely about working with the industry, working with our business partners at all stages. Our engagement with industry was not something we planned and it's on a scale that I wouldn't have dreamed of. The music industry feels to me to be more open, more, more, more adept, I think, and a bit less locked down, perhaps. But I've seen time and time again that just having these conversations between industry and academia leads to new, interesting research, which has big impact on the community, on industry, and on society. I'd like to think that there will be new ways for composing music and for creating music that respect the creativity of human beings. If we can design technology where we can have a genuine partnership, a genuine sense of collaboration with a machine, then I think there are opportunities for new kinds of performance, democratising the ability to create and make music that are unbelievably exciting. But here's the thing, you start with a human and then you build the technology around what it is that they want to do. Both fields could learn from each other and could mutually benefit from collaboration. So one of the projects I really enjoyed within FAST was taking a very traditional object, an acoustic guitar, and essentially attaching digital media to it so that you could scan it and now play it in order to kind of bring back its history in, into the moment. So I think it's a really good promise for future artists to be able to create music and have a playback system that can play music that can change and adapt with data over time. Technology has actually informed many of the new genres and new ways that you know, popular music has developed over the period. So I think new research and technology will just continue the evolution of, of popular music sort of representing the time and the technology of the time. <laughs>